Well, hello again, everyone. It's time for another showdown of, well, odd Sony CRTs. We have a couple of smaller, some would say portable, some would say desktop style CRTs here from Sony. A Mega Watchman and then a Color Watchman. All right, so let's take a closer look at each one of these amazing tiny CRTs from Sony. All right, let's get this showdown started today with the Sony Mega Watchman. So this is the FD500 from Sony. It's a black and white TV with an FM and AM receiver. Here's our controls for using this device on this side. We have a tuning knob to tune in radio stations as well as change our TV channel. Here's how you set the function between FM, AM, and television. This turns the tube on or off. Here's a volume control and a tone control for that sound. You can change the TV band from UHF to VHF with this switch. We have a couple ways to power this. There's a DC input and then the Sony uh, AC plug. And then we have some controls over here for contrast brightness and vertical hold control on the tube. This should have a way to open this bottom up like that. You could fill this with, I believe those are C batteries and it looks like it needs uh, at least eight of them to get this to power on. So we got this mega speaker up here on top. That's where all our sound will come from. And then this is our power button right here to turn the set on and off. All right, let's set this up for video signal. The first thing I need is this coax adapter and this will adapt uh, our input right here for an external antenna and it'll give us a coax end here so we can send in an RF signal now on today's experiment, I will be using a Super Nintendo and that's going to be putting out composite video with stereo audio into the Reflex RF adapter. And that's from Mr. Add-ons. I have a full video about that. I'll link that right up here if you want to check that out. And then we're going to go from that and that's going to send our signal to RF, which I've plugged in here. And then we'll plug the other end of this RF cable into the adapter back here. So the other end of this coax cable can plug right in here. And then you can just plug that in to the back antenna port right there. Then we'll send in our Super Nintendo signal. Let's plug in the AC power cord. Turn on the tube. There's the radio station working. We turn this. Oh, there's that tube starting to come in. So we need to turn this down to around channel four ish I think there we go and now we've tuned in our signal and we're getting that Super Nintendo feed uh, through the adapted composite video into the back there and as you can see up here we've tuned to in between channel 4 and 5 and we could probably go see once you get out of that yeah range you'll change but you can tune that in and that's how that works. Now, honestly, this is pretty much just a novelty and something cool to set up and show off. Maybe you would play on this if you were kind of desperate. Otherwise, it's pretty much something that you just set on your shelf and show off every once in a while. I will say it's great for a radio. It still works wonderfully, sounds good. So if you need a compact, small radio, uh, you can use this for that. So we have to thank Josh. Uh, Josh is a viewer who sent in this CRT. He has sent some CRTs into the shop in the past to be serviced. And he found this in a flea market and it was listed for $5. And it says it does not function 
on it. But he picked it up, said, would I would like to take a look at it? I said, absolutely. Uh, so thank him for sending it in. All right, now let's take a look at this lovely color Watchman. I mean, what a beautiful piece of retro hardware we have here. Sony switched it up on this one with the all white shell or pearl shell. It's just beautiful. Let me show you some things here on the front. First off, here's our emblem. Now we do have an earphone jack down here. Obviously our speaker is right here. And then if we look over on this area, there's some channel uh, buttons and I'll show you how that works and then a channel call button power button nice and fat here's the radio tuner now this controls our volume this wheel and this is how we select between the functions of this TV pretty simple on the side you have TV FM or AM and you can just slide that up or down on the back side over here we have our sleek antenna that we can extend out and then we do have vent holes up here for air breathing. We have an external input for an antenna. We could switch between TV mode with this toggle switch, whether it's on TV or antenna mode. So you have two inputs pretty much. Here we have our composite video input and our mono audio input, and then some screen controls for brightness, contrast, picture and color. We don't have a lot of power options on this CRT like we did on the Mega Watchman. We only have a DC in 13 and a half volt power input right here. Let's just power this set on and hopefully the screen will come up and look okay for you on the, on that uh, screen there. Looks like our brightness is a bit low. So if I go back here to these knobs, I'll just spin them. You can see how that brings up the brightness and the contrast right there. Okay. And I'd like to show you one more cool little feature. Let's test out these channel buttons and see what they do. I'm going to switch the TV. Now it's, it's still in composite video mode, so I have this fed in uh, from two signals. All right, so now we've uh, switched over to RF mode. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to press the channel buttons on here because this is how you cycle through what channels are available and as you can tell it gives you that green thing and it kind of scans for channels and there you go um, it doesn't tell you like an exact channel number but it scans into this channel and I've actually got the game now back in uh, RF now through that antenna input now what happens if we change the bandwidth let's see yeah that'll change it to this oh we can get maybe a sharper image let's see we get a different channel down there that's on the UHF that looks a little bit better but let's see oh it's picking it up a couple times that's interesting very interesting look at that okay so that wheel scans it's red for UHF and or green for VHF but if we go on the this it should be like channel 4 which right now we're in the high high range let's go down there there we go see VHF up here this is supposed to be channel 4 and that's what we're on right now that wheel actually does coordinate with these channels up here so Channel 4 is where we're at. It's interesting how it gets picked up by those other channels, though, somewhat. But this is Channel 4. This is a clean image. It looks about the same. Let's, let me flip through. See, 
it's just I mean you do lose some brightness there but you could dial that in with the picture controls it actually isn't isn't much of a picture quality loss well I don't think it's gonna be any big surprise who's gonna to win today's showdown it's really hard to compete with the color screen and the color watchman does really look great even though it's not a Trinitron tube and it's a shadow mask tube it's still an awesome CRT uh, I will tell you that it is a little bit heavier and bulkier in size than the Mega Watchman. Also, the Mega Watchman is technically a portable device because you can run it off batteries or multiple power supplies. Uh, so there is that one thing that you cannot do with the Color Watchman is you can't run it off batteries like you can the Mega Watchman. And that's an interesting thing. But other than that, um, the Color Watchman pretty much has all the same features, only a little bit better. So that's the one that's going to win today's showdown. All right, guys, thanks again for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please do click the like button for me. It helps a lot with the video every time someone does that. It translates into about 10 new views to the video, and I did put a lot of work into this. I also want to say a special thank you again to Josh for sending in the Mega Watchman, and of course to Super Guy for sending in the Color Watchman. I would highly recommend you go check out Super Guy's channel here on YouTube and check out some of his videos. He's done some cool stuff. So go check out his channel and all the videos there, and I will see you guys next time with some more retro content. All right, Cole, can you tell us all what the problem is? I'm sure everybody's heard you throughout the entire video snoring and whining and crying and everybody just wants to know what the heck is going on. Huh? Why are you so upset? Why do you keep looking over here? Is it really just because your bone is stuck over here? Is this what you want? Huh? Is that it? Really? Really? Come on, dude. Can't we at least make some content without you snorting? You rascal. Goodness, what a spoiled rotten attention, thief.